please focus on my face. This is my second time recording this video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Megan Walmart and today's video is going to be my skincare routine. So the reason that I wanted to film this is because I am very, very, very passionate about skincare. The reason that I'm so passionate is because I also love makeup. I'm a firm believer that before you invest in expensive makeup, you need to invest in good skincare. Yes, makeup can make you look pretty even though you already are, it just enhances your natural beauty. It can be pretty bad for your skin, you know, it clogs your pores, it can cause you to break out. So taking care of your skin when you're not wearing makeup is so, so, so important. So with that being said, I'm going to show you mostly everything on camera, what I use, how I use it, and all of that good stuff right here. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with how I remove my makeup. If I can reach it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. What I use is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. I use the Blue Cap because this specifically says it even removes waterproof mascara. And that is very important for me because I only use waterproof mascara. I use cotton pads or cotton squares. Now the reason I like this is because no matter what else I use, I always end up going back to this because not only does it get off all of your makeup, but it also removes much of the dirt on your face and your face gets really dirty. Sometimes you don't even really notice how face, um, how, how face your dirty gets, how dirty your face gets. And I also like this because if I'm rushing in the morning and I don't have time to do my skincare, which I always recommend you make time, but sometimes you just can't. I will just take a cotton pad, shake it up. I think it's really important to shake it up because if, it's, if you don't, it'll kind of be greasy. But I can use this instead because it's a cleansing water. Some days, if I'm feeling extra and if my skin really needs it, I'll shake it up in the morning before washing my face, even when I have no makeup on because I removed it before I went to bed. Please remove your makeup before you sleep. It's very bad for you to sleep with makeup on. But I will just put some on in the morning before I wash my face. I feel like I'm trying really hard, and I'm looking in the viewfinder right now because otherwise I couldn't see, but I'm trying really hard not to make any ugly faces because when I filmed this yesterday, I noticed that the faces I make when I do my skincare routine are so ugly. Normally people make those funny faces when they do their mascara and like eyeliner and stuff, but not me. I make funny faces when I do my skincare routine. And I always make sure to get the jawline and the neck because it is just as important as your face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my bathroom and wash my face quick. And then when I get back, I'll talk about the face washes I use and finish up my routine. So I just washed my face and I'll show you the face wash that I used. I used the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Moisturizing Facial Wash. This is my third bottle of this stuff. I really like it, and the reason that I like it is because it's so moisturizing. Especially in the winter, my skin is so dry, and I think this really helps. However, I noticed that when I converted to this from what I was using beforehand, I did start breaking out a little bit. Not crazy. My skin was still pretty clear, but I think that that reason is because I wasn't exfoliating enough. Exfoliating is really important because if you don't exfoliate, you just have a dead skin on your face and so that's not good so I recently picked up the CVS health deep cleansing exfoliating scrub now this gently exfoliates your skin so you could use it for daily use you could use it every day but I really like this one I do think I'm gonna go purchase something that's a little bit more exfoliating but this is definitely helping so a little bit more about this product is that it deep cleans into pores it has a cooling and refreshing formula which it definitely does the way i describe it is kind of like minty and it's paraben and phthalate free fun fact when i was recording this yesterday the first time i looked at the word phthalate for five minutes and i couldn't figure out how to pronounce the word so i literally looked it up on camera <laughs> Phthalate. Phthalate. Oh, phthalate. So the page is silent. 
I feel like I really should have known that. So I use this every once in a while, probably like three to four times a week, but once a day. And every other time I use this face wash. After a face wash, I use toner. I had stopped using toner for a while. I recently just got back into it, like, and recently is within the past few months. So the toner that I'm using today is the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Astringent. This has 2% salicylic acid. This is actually my first bottle of this because the past two months, the other two bottles that I was using was the same brand, but instead of astringent, it said toner, and it was blue instead of this orangey color. And then the other main difference that I noticed, I couldn't figure anything else out, was that, like I said, this has 2% salicylic acid, and the blue toner is, I want to say, 0.5%, so it's not as strong as this one. So I again use cotton pads to apply this, the same cotton pads I used for removing my makeup. So I just start in my forehead, work to the other side, go down my face, go on my cheeks. This is the part where I feel like I make the ugly faces. Some people say they don't notice a difference when it comes to toner, and I wouldn't say I notice a huge difference, but where I do notice a difference is right here in like my T-zone section, specifically like right underneath my eyes next to my nose. I feel like my pores are just so much smaller in that area, which I really like because I think it looks better when I put on my makeup. And my pores like are cleaner. Up until this point, for my morning skincare routine and then my nighttime skincare routine, everything's the same. So for the morning, I use a dermatologist prescribed lotion. I use clindamycin phosphate topical lotion. I don't notice a huge difference when it comes to this. To be honest, I don't really know if it's helping. So I literally count how many drops I pour out onto my hand. I use like eight. I will just rub it into my hands and pat this into my skin. Sometimes, I, honestly, like I rub it in, but I know that's apparently really bad for you. So I'm working on stopping that. So that's all I do for my morning skincare routine. Going into my nighttime routine. So this product that I use comes right after the toner. It is also dermatologist prescribed and it is a Dapolene gel. It's a pump and my dermatologist told me to use like a pea sized pump but I don't feel like it's enough to cover my whole face. So I still use one pump but I just use like a really slow pump. Following that gel I use the CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion and I don't use this every single night but on the nights where I feel like my skin is a little bit more dry and I need some more moisture I will use this. I really like this too because it's ultra lightweight which it says on the bottle and it's not greasy. But with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe. It's free. You don't have to but it would mean so 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 much to me if you did comment down below what videos you want to see next. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!